Okay, enough teasing. Let's go into a live environment um, where I already have all plus loaded uh, and see if we can um, actually create a simple but accurate and professional looking chart. Uh, the time to beat is 90 seconds. Um, Ben's going to time it here for me. Are you ready, Ben? All right, so you ready? And yeah. go. Perfect. So what we're doing now is importing the information. I've got my information as an Excel spreadsheet, which I've obtained from my HRIS. Uh, you can have this in a CSV or TXT file. Uh, and remember, you want your information to be as accurate as possible to make sure that your charts display um, the correct information. Okay, we've got the basic chart there, but few details are missing, so let's actually insert a division field and not forgetting the employee ID field and we actually want job title to be on the top and let's remove all of those labels quick preview uh, okay that's not looking too bad let's actually change the border and the background color of the boxes that's looking much better so let's apply that to the entire chart and now what we want to do is actually insert the business logo and also a text showing us the name of the chart if I can actually drag, oh that's going to cost me a few seconds and there we have it that is our org chart Pretty ben. much bang on 90 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. So we've, um, we, we've, we've set the benchmark as 90 seconds. So everyone watching this, you know it can be done. Um, okay, so that is a very basic org chart, but it's got all of the requirements that my MD has asked for. It's got all of the directory information in the charts there. So you've got your uh, job title, the name, employee ID, and also the division. You've got the logo and also the name of the chart that we're currently look, looking at. Now, obviously, the organization isn't just this big. What Org Plus has actually done for us is it has separated the charts into different departments for us. So this is something that Org Plus can do automatically for you. So you can see, you know, we've got the technology department, operations department, finance, marketing, all on the right side here. You can have Org Plus actually remove all these subcharts and have everyone on one single chart, but if you've got 500 employees, that might not be the best idea. Um, with the chart that you've created here, you can now go and publish that to either PowerPoint, if you've got a presentation, or PDF, Word, even HTML, which can go directly onto your uh, intranet. Now, I'll quickly show you what other things you can do with um, Org Plus out of the box. Now, we've got a few templates here. So if you don't want to mess too much with the, um, the, the formatting of the boxes and colors, there are a few default templates that you can use, and it is a matter of double-clicking the template that you like. And that will be applied straight away um, uh, onto the chart. We've got box templates as well. So for example, if you wanted the CEO to look different, again, you just double click and that changes the look and feel of the chart. Now, we also have views that come out of the box with um, Org Plus as well. So you've got your basic you know, directory chart here, that's great. But what Org Plus allows you to do is use some of these views to create different types of charts. For example, a gender chart double clicking on that we can see that the chart now displays a gender diversity uh, gender diversity information now even though we didn't have this information in our source of truth or in our data Org Plus can implement um, uh, calculations uh, based on what you have in there so you don't necessarily need to have all this information in there as long as you have a field that prompts is a if a person is male or female or plus will be able to calculate it for you. Um, another good example here is open positions um, and here we can see an example of conditional formatting coming into play. 
So this view basically tells us if a position is vacant, then the look and feel of the box actually changes. So again, you don't actually need to manually intervene and um, create this formatting. You can use this, uh, the, this view right here to actually do that. Uh, the last one that I'll probably show you is a span of controls chart. And again, this chart actually shows you what the total head count is for that person and how many subordinates they are currently managing. Um, this formula also shows us if someone is managing too many people or not having enough people to manage. So again, that's conditional formatting that Org Plus um, uh, has. Now what happens when someone leaves the organization? What happens when you know, um, someone changes position in the organization? What you want to do now is again make sure your source of truth is accurate. Obtain a new extract from your source of truth and then simply go into data, go into refresh properties and select that new extract. Now once you have that new extract it will be a simple matter of pressing refresh data and what that does is it updates all of your charts all of the views that you see right here with a single press so it doesn't mean that you're creating five different charts all over again you don't have to import the data again all you're doing is pressing that refresh button